so today my Walboro carburetor kit came in for the LMR carburetor on my Lawn Boy commercial lawnmower. And now I'm going to show you how to install a new needle on a Lawn Boy LMR carburetor. The first thing that you're going to want to do is remove the carburetor guard. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is put a flat head in between here and remove this clip. Now the air filter cover should just slide right off. Pull out your air filter. Ugh, this one's got some gas on it because of that overflow issue. Now you're going to have to remove these two Phillips head screws. Once you have those removed, pull off the air filter housing and you're going to have to detach the spring from the throttle, which isn't very hard, and remove your carburetor. Sometimes this can be stuck and there we go. You just have to use a little bit of extra force and it should detach. Now before I start working on this carburetor, I'm just going to take my air compressor to it and clean up the outside a bit. Okay, so now that you've gotten this clean on the outside, you're going to want to start disassembling the carburetor. The first thing is there should be a tiny screen in there. Yep, there it is. And just make sure that's clean before you put it back together. I know... Uh, a lot of these uh, carburetors don't have these, but this one does. So if yours does, just make sure that that screen is all clean and free of debris. Because if it isn't, then fuel isn't going to be able to go into your carburetor. Now you're going to want to start by removing your bowl plug. And in my case, it's a one-half size drive. So once you've gotten that off, you should be able just to pull the bowl right off the carburetor. And you should be able to inspect everything. And like I said, I'm going to be replacing the needle, so I'm going to have to pull out this pin here and pull off the float. And there's that Tecumseh needle that I put on there as temporary. Now your new needle should just slide into that groove on the float, like so. And you're just going to want to take it and put it on the carburetor just like so and reinstall that pin now I'm going to install a new o-ring for the bowl so just throw away the old one and the new one should fit on there nice and snug now you can reinstall your bowl Make sure that it is nice and clean and make sure that the ceiling edge here is very clean as well. This one looks to be in great condition. Now I'm just going to put the bowl back onto the carburetor. And I am installing a new washer on the bowl plug. Now I'm going to reinstall everything the same way that it was taken off.
Time for the moment of truth. The first startup after being repaired. Turn on the fuel. Fuel valve. Ignition switch. Choke. Give it a pull. I guess it's time to sell and uh, see how much I can get for it and then keep my eyes peeled for a, a long boy with a D400 formerly known as the brick top engine always wanted one of those but never found one but I, I think this might be my lucky year <laughs> anyways guys comment rate and subscribe and this was another video by Pimpin' Vans hope you guys enjoyed this video peace out